Hi friends and new friends. Recently, Bitcoin Gold fell victim to a painful 51% attack, leading to a significant amount of user funds being redirected and stolen. Now, this is something that can happen to any proof of work coin, especially those that feature mining as their sole method of security. Now, Dash, with its innovative second tier masternode network, has come up with a way to mitigate this threat. How is that possible? Well, you'll find out about that today. I'm Christopher Carruthers, also known as Tao Satoshi, and you're watching Cash Alternative TV. So what is Cash Alternative TV other than that catchy jingle? Well, it's a show about cryptocurrency with a focus on Dash, which aims to be a digital cash for the world, an alternative to cash. If that's something that interests you, or you just want to learn more about Dash, or just want to hang out with me some more, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss an episode. Now on to the subject of today's show. So as I said off the top of the show, Bitcoin Gold was subject to a 51% attack recently. Now, if you're joining us for the first time and you're outside of cryptocurrency and you don't know what a 51% attack is, let me explain. Investopedia describes it in this way. A 51% attack refers to an attack on a blockchain, usually Bitcoins, for which such an attack is still hypothetical, by a group of miners controlling more than 50% of the network's mining hash rate, or computing power. The attackers would be able to prevent new transactions from gaining confirmations, allowing them to halt payments between some or all users. They would also be able to reverse transactions that they were completed while they were in control of the network, meaning they could double spend coins. So as a user of a cryptocurrency network, this is somebody's worst nightmare. This means that your funds could be taken by miners and stolen and moved to another address, or effectively double spent and you lose your money. So this is definitely a nightmare scenario for most users. So here's what we know about the Bitcoin Gold 51% attack. It resulted in around 70,000 worth of users' funds being stolen. And there was actually two attacks on the Bitcoin Gold network. The first attack resulted in 14 blocks being removed and 13 blocks added for a redirection of $20,000 worth of users' funds. The second attack, less than six hours later, resulted in 15 blocks being removed from the Bitcoin Gold blockchain and 16 blocks being added for a redirection of $50,000 of users' funds. Now this attack was relatively inexpensive for the attackers, as Bitcoin Gold uses Equahash's Zhash hashing algorithm for its security. And this is so Bitcoin Gold can remain mineable on graphics cards. Now although that's well and good for people who want to mine on graphics cards, it's not so good for security, because the hash power required to pull off this 51% attack amounted to a grand total of $1,700. The funny thing is, after this attack was pulled off, the price of Bitcoin Gold skyrocketed. Traders, am I right? Now users of other proof of work coins might look upon this and say that it might happen to their own funds on, the, on another proof of work blockchain. However, it, it would be pretty expensive to pull this off on many established coins, so you don't have to worry about it just yet. Although it is possible. But users of Dash need not be afraid. Why is that? Dash is a proof of work coin like the other ones, so it is subject to a 51% attack as well. However, the developers of Dash have come up with a way to mitigate this issue, and it's using our second tier innovative masternode network. And this solution is known as chain locks. So what is chain locks? Well, it's a network-wide verifiable vote by a group of masternodes called the LLMQs, or Long Living Masternode Quorums. They, so they see a block on the network, and then the Long Living Masternode Quorum signs a message saying that this block is the only block that's going to be accepted at this block height. They send this message to the rest of the network, and then that's it. That block becomes the only official block that the network will recognize. And this is not a small quorum of masternodes. It features around several hundred masternodes that take part in this quorum. So you know it's pretty secure. Any attempt by miners to reorganize this chain is going to run into that message. So they won't be able to pull it off. So this message, signed by the long-living masternode quorum, makes it impossible for a miner with over 51% of the hash rate to perform a chain reorganization. A potential attacker would need to have both the 51% of the miners and the masternodes to pull off such an attack. So if an attacker had the gumption to try to buy enough masternodes to take over a 51% portion of the masternode quorum on the open market, it's going to be extremely cost prohibitive to do so. You're going to drive the price of masternodes up to the sky. So it would cost you more money to do that than you would probably receive by performing the 51% attack, even if you had the opportunity to do so. And even if you were successful, you would only be successful in reorganizing one block, because the block previous to that would have already been verified by the LLMQ. If you want to learn more about chain locks and how Dash mitigates the 51% attack, and you want to see more details, I'll leave the link to a blog post below. That has all the information you'll need. 
So the 51% attack has moved beyond the theoretical, and now we see it happening in other blockchains that feature proof-of-work mining security. However, Dash users are unaffected. Well, that's it for me today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click the bell if you want to see more from me in Cash Alternative TV episodes. Until next time, remember, Dash is a better money for a better future, and that future is getting closer every day. Bye for now.